sure it means sudden floods down there rather than here where I'm walking. Um, I'm off to the Grey Corries today which is a, a big long ridge of hills. It's about eight kilometers long I think the ridge with lots of different bumps on top. Very very high and uh, one of the best ridge walks in Scotland arguably because you stay up oh, you stay up high for a very long time. You don't really dip down beyond uh, below 800 meters the whole time. So it's a good classic stay up high all day ridge walk. I think this is where it's saying to expect flash floods, but I can't ex <laughs> can't imagine it's going to be anything like that today. But uh, it's nice to be warned. I need to get onto the other side of here. Across with dry feet, no less. I did wax my boots last night. Well, I come from sort of over this ridge over there in the forest. This is all part of. Uh, near Spoon Bridge, which is over there, and the Great Glen, which leads up to Loch Ness, eventually sort of cuts all the way along there and behind this hill here. And the Grey Corries are this haze of white over here on the distance, and going up here, going around the top over, I don't know how many tops, three or four tops. I'm going to come four tops. <laughs> Sounds like a band. And then uh, down here and back. So, not a huge route today, really. It's more, there's more, it's, it's, it's lots of up. And with the snow, you don't know how hard going the snow's gonna be. So it's not a huge distance, but it will take a long time. And I wanna take my time. I haven't had a day like this since November, so uh, oh, looking forward to it. Oh, good grief. After a whole winter, of storms, and gales, and incessant winds, and me moaning about how much wind there's been, and how it's prevented me from getting up and doing just this. Oh, I'd kill for a breeze right now. There's not a breath of wind, which is wonderful, but it is hot. Oh, it can only be about two, three degrees, and there's lots of frost and ice on the ground still, but. It's March now, and that sun's getting quite warm. Right, I think I'm ready now to commit to snow, which should be it now for the rest of the, uh, the rest of the walk, at least until I come down there again. But uh, it's with a tiny sense of nervousness because, gloriously sunny as it is now, I can confidently state with experience, I suppose, of many, many years in the hills, both here and other countries around the world, all of which have sunshine and cloud, I can confidently state that the one thing in this world that is likely to make cloud appear out of nowhere, it's this. Not that I'm superstitious or anything, but I am nervous. Every time I put this on, when it's a bit of a balance and it could go either way. Sometimes it just, this tips the balance. It does, I swear to God it does. Well, that's quite crusty, firm snow. So, uh, crampon time, I think. Ready, finally. Oh yes, that's much better. Quite unusually for me, I've just spotted a ptarmigan before it moves and flies off. Thank 
can actually see where there's been avalanches, where slabs uh, fallen off up there, up there, up here. You can see the the mark where it's all fallen away. It's quite incredible seeing all these this avalanche debris that's come down from the, the cornices. The cornices of the uh, is the wind-blown snow that accumulates at the, the lip of a corry. The wind blows it from over in that direction and brings it and just slowly it builds in this direction. And you can see that once the sun gets onto it, it's uh, you can see this sort of debris coming down. If you want to get a sense of the scale of how big the things are over there, over there, where is it? Over there. That black thing, that's the top station of uh, the Nevis Range Ski Centre. You might just be able to make out lifts, maybe? Oh, there you are, I can just make them out moving. See, that's the scale, that's how big it is. You can see all this debris behind the lift. All that stuff's come down. It shows how dangerous it is, even up there in the ski, in the ski centre. So, Going back to the avalanche that we saw earlier, you can now get a sense of how big that is. And this, the top station is there. See, that's huge, huge amount of snow come down. I think someone is going to have to pinch me, wake me up and remind me exactly what country I'm walking in today because I can't recall driving to France or Alaska this morning and yet that's where I feel like I am. This is of course uh, Scotland looking more alpine than I've ever seen it. Which isn't surprising given the amount of snow that has fallen this year Supposedly this one of the snowiest winters at altitude in 60 years or so. Because it's been snowing pretty much non-stop since December until fairly recently, with very few massive temperature fluctuations or rain events. Usually our winters are typified by having rain to summit level. And while it did that last week and it did it a couple of weeks ago in big storms, it hasn't really done anything to the the core of the snowpack, which is all still here in just vast amounts. It's incredible. Usually, of course, while we do get a lot of snow, it never looks as smooth as that. We never get so much that it just kind of covers absolutely everything. We have the gullies, are usually, you can usually make out gullies, avalanches as well. There's plenty, plenty of avalanche debris to be seen. I just can't get over it, it's incredible. It's just such a glorious, glorious day. <laughs> Walking in this, it would not look as amazing as it, look, as it looks now unless it, we had the foul weather we've had. It's, it's because of all the weather, all those storms, and that's kept it cool at altitude and it's dumped so much snow. That's why it looks so incredible now. And I will remember this day for a very, very long time. It's almost worth having this hideous winter where you get no walking done whatsoever, just so that you can get views like this and an experience like this with so much snow. It's a bit like, it's a bit like supporting a really, really rubbish football team and losing every week and feeling down and just thinking that, thinking that things are never gonna get better. And then you get a win and the wind seems all the more sweet and all the more worthwhile and no doubt better and more moving than it probably is or was because you've suffered so much heartache in the past. Yeah, walking in Scotland could be like that too. Ah, oh, there we go. Nice view of Ben Nevis now poking up through that gap looking really, really encrusted with ice and snow. Wow. 
Wow. Just look at that. This isn't Scotland. I've never seen it before. How incredible is that? I mean, that is stupendous. It does, ju it just does not look like Scotland. It's, it's incredible. So much snow. It's got windy. edge a very wide berth. Some of these cornices are just absolutely enormous. That's the last hill, that's the last top, that's the highest of all the great quarries. Well, it's not much calm conditions. It's very, very, it's quite windy up here. It's not cold, actually, weirdly, but it is quite windy, so I haven't been able to actually say much as I've been going along, or, or I haven't really wanted to stop and say anything. Good grief, look at that block that's over there. Big block of cornice that's fallen away. Heavens. Uh, yes, as I was, as I was saying, that, um, that hill that looks sort of like like the Matterhorn, uh, Skur Honig Moor, um, it had proper wind-carved, wind-sculpted snow, a ridge of wind-sculpted snow. I've never, I don't think I've ever seen that in Scotland, actually. It's the sort of thing you see in uh, films about people climbing in the higher ranges in the Alps and uh, the Himalayas and things like that. These beautiful, beautiful shapes that the wind pushes the snow into, these cornices that undulate along ridges and, and come to a point, you know, incredible. Incredible stuff to see. I just can't believe I'm actually seeing it here. I've never seen it before. It's amazing. Anyway, uh, yes, the top of uh, the Grey Corridor. So I'm just going to snake it on this ridge. That's the last bit of up. And then from there, it's all downhill back to the forest, which is way down there. Back to the bike. I don't really have anything to say other than I just I just can't believe I can't believe how alpine an experience this is. It's incredible. I think all that remains to be said actually while I'm sat here in the car is uh, I'm having a lovely time. I'm down quite a lot now actually, thankfully. At the end of the day, and I'm getting that unimaginably wonderful view. Getting that light now as the sun's going lower, shadows are starting to come out. Oh, it's calm. It's 
it's not quite as bright now either. The sun's getting a bit lower. That's where we've come from up there. Oh, it's all looking splendid. I am uh, had a wonderful day, but I'm actually quite glad that's it. It's, um, it's been epic. It's been the kind of snow and uh, snow on ridges, the way it's been carved into shapes, it's the kind of thing I've not really encountered before. So it was a bit, um, uh, just a bit different, I suppose, and it's unlike anything else I've really encountered before. And just required a lot of concentration. But it's been a day where I've had to use all the equipment I brought with me. I had to, this came in very handy, I had to cut, had to cut steps down a, a slope in one section, so that was very handy. I've just got my base layer on, I've just got a thermal top on, and uh, the smock, that's all I've had on. It's so, it's so warm, the wind's still quite warm. Oh, bliss. Well, that's one last look at some unbelievable cornices. Oh my goodness gracious me. I know it looks as though there's stuff underneath that snow. It looks like it's maybe it's rocks or something, but it isn't. It's all, it's just chunks of this. It's kind of, well, I mean, it's this, this gap here and those gaps, that's what's fallen away. It, it, this here is just a sort of steep crag, but all of this has fallen away. Um, I've never seen anything like this here before. Sorry, I don't want to sound like a stuck record today, just sort of bleating on about. I've never seen this before, I've never seen that before, but I've never seen anything like that before, not in this country. I mean, it does, it's like a glacier. It's like the end of a glacier where it's carving off. I mean, the principle's exactly the same, it's just the weight becomes too much and gravity takes it down, but it's, you can see all the layers in there as well. How many layers there are in here? Incredible, so much snow. Wow. Just saying there's more huge avalanche scars down the side. This is the hill I went up. I came up up here, up this ridge here. You'd never know that that would come down there. I mean, that's come the whole length, the whole height of that hill all the way into the glen. Sobering. It's the rather disconcerting sound of all this crusty snow, the crusty top layer sort of sliding, sliding down the hill. You forget you do it sometimes, it's funny, I, when I was up, way up on the ridge, walking along it was doing that, you're just sort of trotting along merrily and then there's this hissing behind you, it's like, Ugh! forget what it is, because it just gets louder and louder, and it's fine, it's just this, this layer that's going down, but it's just very noisy. I forget what it is sometimes. It's like a big snake. A big snake chasing me or something. Oh. It occurs to me I haven't had any tea or cake today, so I'm gonna oh, plonk me down. For the first time today, actually, I haven't sat down all day. I haven't stopped. Oh, it feels beautiful. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Sugar. There's loads of deer down there. First I've seen. I'm not surprised I haven't seen any today, actually, because I've only been in the snow and. Not likely to have them up there. The snow on the hills tends to push them down to where they can graze. They've all seen me. <laughs> you find me in a hole down to my knees. I'm not so sure this was a good idea coming this way. <laughs> Snow's quite 
soft down here. I've got a feeling I might disappear. My feet are mine again. Oh, so grad, got grad, glad to be free of the crampons. Oh, God, that feels weird. Ooh. I'm in shade for the first time, first time today. Oh, it's suddenly gone really cool. Well, that's where I crossed over there, but I actually walked through here. I, uh, I'm sure that's filled up. It's probably not surprising that it says morning sudden floods because this is all filled up, I think. I'm sure it wasn't there this morning. Job done. Amazing day. Epic day. Gonna remember that for a very long time. Now it's just a nice... <coughs> trundle back. <coughs>